By the time I got to level 300 in the university, I had already started two businesses. I had already started two businesses. One was into events like this, and the other company was into what we call scratch cards. Even in my third year at the university, I had already in partnership with somebody here, one lecturer here, I just had a Lebon Law roundabout here. I had already in partnership with that lecturer, secured the shop, and I was I employed two people and were selling uh, uh, scratch cards. We used to call it scratch cards, which is your, your credit card, the cards, and doing transfer and doing mobile phone repairs. This was level 300 in the university. I had to save my, my, my income from level 100 to level 200. And what I used to do was that when they pay, when I collect my school fees, I'm not saying when I do that, when I collect my school fees in the university, I knew that I had to pay a certain minimum deposit. So I would pay the minimum deposit and then start trading with the balance until the end, getting to the exam time, and I'll pick back my capital from the business and then use it and then pay my school fees. It led me on a certain journey and it has transformed my life. Up to this time, I still continue to learn. I still continue to discover and learn and improve my skill set. Because when you discover your potential and you keep on learning, you keep on adding one skill to the other, it makes you a better person. It makes you a marketable person. Don't think of finishing school and going out there to look for a job. Even if you want to look for a job, if you package yourself well, you will be more marketable to the job industry. You will be more marketable because if somebody spends five minutes with you, the person will know that this lady or this gentleman has fully packaged and prepared and equipped him or herself. So it is important for you to learn a skill. It is important for you to improve yourself. And soon I will talk about some of the key areas that you should be looking at in, in trying to improve yourself. But the bottom line is that you are a resource. You need to develop yourself. You need to build your capacity. You need to build and develop your competencies so that you become an excellent person. Opportunities fly around us every day, every time. Sometimes your opportunity might be in the corridor. Sometimes it will be on the staircase. But the little minute of interaction that somebody has with you, this person has fully developed him or herself. Sometimes you engage people in conversations and they don't seem to know anything. They don't seem to know anything above or beyond their classroom. The only thing they know is just their four bonds in their classroom. Beyond that, they don't know anything. Sometimes there's, there's, there's a block, maybe your school block. Your class, this is geography, maybe this is economics, maybe this is literature. The person beyond the geography forward doesn't know jack about anything. But when you come out of school, you realize that you do not need only geography to succeed. Okay? You do not need only economics to succeed. You don't need only literature to succeed. You need a combination of skill sets to be able to succeed in life. You don't need one thing. No one single skill can get you where you want to go. That is why it is important that you keep learning, you keep adding on to your knowledge base, you keep building your capacity so that you are a more refined person able to deliver on the international stage. And when you think, don't think Ghana, don't think local, don't think your community. Think beyond where you are and envision a bigger future. The more you envision, you realize that I'm not capable. So it leads you to learn. It leads you to do something new. It leads you to improve your skill set so that you can better deliver on an international stage. You are a resource. And so the earlier you discover yourself, the better for you. Up to this time, I said I still keep learning. Now, I am a consultant, and that is what I do for a living. Last year, I realized that our company's website 
was doing so poorly online. We were attracting just about five visitors in a day. Because I go to the back end of my website and I see the number of visitors that comes to my website every day. Are you with me? So I realized that we only have five visitors in a day. Then I said to myself that I will learn how to improve my search engine optimization. In other words, how to let my website run or show uh, come forward. Now, when you go to Google, how many of you know Google? Yes. Now, if you go to Google and you put in any word, any keyword, Google has a way of bringing you the result that you need. Okay? Now, what shows that this particular word or this particular website should come number one or number two or number three? Or page one or page two or page three? That is what I'm probably talking about. Then I began to learn. As we speak now, we are on Google page one. And we are ranking and we have at least 200 visitors visiting our website in a single day. What I'm trying to tell you is that anything you want to learn, it need not have been taught to you in the classroom. And yet, if you have a or classroom, it is not the wait on your teachers to teach you every single thing. But the desire to learn and the habit to learn must be inculcated by you. Because when you understand that I am a resource, I need to prioritize myself, I need to sharpen my skills, then what it means is that every single step or any step you need to take to sharpen your skills, you will do it. And thankfully in this age, this is the easiest time to learn and acquire knowledge. I call it University on Wheels. University on Wheels. Because I spend a lot of time driving. I spend a lot of time driving. And any time I'm driving, you see things in my ears. I am not an electrician. I put things in my ears. I'm on YouTube. I'm downloading stuff. I'm on podcast. I'm learning things. Because the more I learn, the more better I do what? I become. You have once upon a time maybe here. And my grandmother used to tell me, that you see, those who are rich today, eh, if we take everything from them and we say that we should all start life again, do you know that they will be? This is what my grandmother used to tell me when she was alive. Okay, Chiyami, that look, those who are rich today, mention any name. If today they take the rich man and they take the poor man and they say that, look, we are seizing everything from the two of you today. Go and start life again or afresh. Still, the rich man will become rich. Why? Why? Oh, you don't know? Because it is not about the money. Those who are rich have a certain mindset, a certain growth process that they have gone through. And so, if I can create something today, tomorrow when I lose it, what can I do? I can recreate it again. Do you believe me? Take a mason. Assuming the mason who built this structure. You take everything away from this structure. Can he rebuild this structure? Why? Because it is here. That is why we are saying that develop your skills. Develop yourself. It is not about money. Money is not the end game, but if you develop yourself, Surely it will put money in your pocket. Because it is only what you are that you can reproduce. How many of you believe that? It is only who you are. You can only reproduce yourself. And that is why God said that let us create these people in what? In our likeness. In our image. And let them have what? Dominion. Because it is you that can create yourself. That is why we are saying that look, acquire knowledge. Learn. Add to your skill, read, add to your skill, improve yourself, sharpen your skill, so that you can create a better world for yourself and for your family. I still keep learning a lot of things. And every year I have new things I think I don't know. At this thing I have to try and learn it. 
then I'll plug in a YouTube video. And there are so much videos on the, in on online. Almost every single topic you can think of, there is some subject matter expert on it. And the more you keep learning, and the more you keep reading, then your skills are being improved. What's the time? Okay. So the more you learn, so what do you have to do? You have to keep improving yourself. Buy books. Hmm? I said buy books. Buy good books. Okay? Download things. When you come home, I know in school you are not allowed to use mobile phones, right? But when you come home, you have access. Your parents and things, use it well. Okay? Some of you are blessed with computers at home. Use it well. Watch good videos. Okay? Download good materials. Improve your skills. Improve yourself. And then it will make you a better person. Attend good events. Okay? And these are the following things I'm going to mention are some of the key areas I want to take notes. Okay? As you desire to develop yourself. Number one is communication. You need to develop your communication skills. As you rise in life, it is more and more technical knowledge that will make you successful. You need technical knowledge to start. Are you with me? Are you with me? When you first join an organization, let's say I am an engineer, so I come to you, I show you that as for this machine, I can dismantle it and I can fix it together. I show you the technical knowledge. And based on that, you said, we see, you have a job, come and work. Indeed, I have a job, yes or no? But immediately I start the job, how many of you know that 